Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Joe and welcome back to the homestead. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about how to make biochar. If you don't know what biochar is, go ahead and click either somewhere up here and we'll tell you about what biochar is and how it's you know amazing for your field. So anyway, we're gonna jump into this and we're gonna have some free resources down in the description about how to make your retort. Let's jump into this. We're with Mark from Baker's Green Acres. This is the Anyone Can Farm Experience. <laughs> Okay, for uh, biochar making, number one method, this is a double barrel refractory skirted retort. We just made this. It's in the process of its very first burn. As far as making biochar on the homestead, this is probably where you want to begin. Um, it's fairly easy to procure the, the pieces that you need to build this. You just need two barrels and a couple of parts and it's not all that hard to put together, but this is probably your best bet for the homestead. The pro of this is you can light this off and walk away. And when it's done, it burns out, right? So that's a real plus on this. Yeah, you, you're, you're going through some, some consumables on here, but um, with, with this, uh, my time is valuable. And if I have to sit here and babysit it, that's not good. This will burn completely down in about four hours. It's over in four hours. You can come and lift the inner barrel out and you'll have nice, cool biochar, high quality. Uh, the cons on this, you have to build it. So we probably have in materials and time about $100 in, in effort and, uh, and equipment. Um, and this unit will break down in time. All right, so you'll probably get maybe 10 burns out of this, and then both barrels will just be crystallized and they'll just fall to pieces. So, uh, you know, be advised. You can use, reuse the skirting, you can reuse the top, probably the, uh, uh, the barrel top you could use again, but the outer barrel, that'll be gone, and the inner barrel, that will go too, after about 10 burns. So that's the con, that's the downside of it. And if you would like to learn how to build one of these in its entirety, you can go to the description and there's a free downloadable instructional. This is another way to make biochar on the homestead. Um, this is a, a top-down fire lay, right? So what's happening here, we got this kindling on the top here to start to burn. You know when you're doing a a campfire you usually light it from the bottom up. In this case, it's burning from the top down, and as the flame goes down through the charcoal that's already burned, the charcoal winds up in an oxygen-deprived environment, same as the retort, and it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn. Uh, it gasses off, but then it just sits. So. Uh, we got a little bit of wind here today, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. But in theory, this could go all the way to the bottom and it would still be standing here as, you know, basically what you're seeing, only completely black, just charcoal. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. The, the pros of this method are you really don't need any kind of infrastructure. I mean, we're just doing it right in the driveway here. Uh, so you don't really need much. All you have to do is make sure that your wood gets split really nice and thin and your wood has to be really, really dry. I'm seeing a little bit of bubbling coming out from the ends of these woods here, so it's not real dry. And that's just the way it goes. We, if we just split this and let it sit for quite a while, we'd get a much drier burn. Uh, the, the cons of this, uh, it's not contained. Uh, it's subject to what's going on right now, like so we have quite a bit of wind. I don't know is when this gets down a little further if the wind isn't gonna take it over. And the wind is actually adding oxygen to the burn all the time. So if, if we were in a, a much stiller environment, I think we'd get a better product. But we're gonna see what happens. This is not usually how we do it. 
another con of this is I, I have to tend this, right? I can't just light this and walk away. Uh, with the, the double barrel retort, you light it and you walk away. When it's done gassing off, the burn discontinues and it cools off and then you have biochar. So this you would have to tend it. If this were to fall over, you know, you could lose everything. Okay, so another component of this is when you start to see any ash, you have to hit it with water or you're gonna just, it's just gonna burn completely out. So we have to stay here and, and tend this. But let's say that you've got a pile of brush. Uh, all you would need is a hose and then you could just tend it a little bit, keep it from burning up completely, and you'd have this char. So now that the burn is finished, Jim is just going to completely soak it down with the, uh, the water barrel there, and we'll have a finished product. All right, well, this open burn method is complete, and we have some biochar here. We have some. Uh, a lot of it is not complete. If you look at that, there's just a little bit of wood on the inside of it. So it's, it's not a complete burn, but we didn't have any infrastructure at all. Uh, the downside, we had to sit here and babysit it and keep a little bit of water going to it so it didn't burn up. Um, but we do have biochar. You know? It might not be the highest quality, but still, if you need some biochar for your chickens or for your potting uh, plants, your potted plants and your gardening, this is the way to do it. It's kind of um, a low budget way to do it, but it does work. All right, there we go, guys. There's nothing one and two. If you guys are enjoying this video, if you could do us a favor and hit that thumbs up. If you're not enjoying this video, well, you know, we can, we can take it. <laughs> We're men here, most of us. Um, hit the dislike button. We're not afraid of a few dislikes, but if you are enjoying it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. Let's jump into number three and see what that is. All right, so here's another here's another way you could make biochar on the homestead. This is a kind of a Dutch oven type thing. And you can put wood in here, wood feedstock in here, and then put this on a campfire or a Bunsen burner, something like that. And you will see it start to gas off. And the gas, you know, you won't use it at all. But if you let it go long enough, you'll just get nothing but biochar in here. So that's, that's doable. You can even put it on a, a, wood, a camp stove, a campfire. Yeah, you can put it on a campfire. There's a couple of things to think about as far as safety goes. Uh, biochar is flammable, all right? So let's say that we finish up this burn, we take the inner barrel out, and we dump all that biochar, let's say, into a bucket, and we want to bring it in the house and show the kids. You have to make sure it is completely out, completely out, uh, because it can catch fire and continue the burn. You don't want that to happen. Uh, as I said before, with this retort, it's light it and walk away. You know, you want it in an area where it's not gonna catch the grass on fire, catch any buildings on fire. Feedstock is what we're going to use to actually turn into biochar. We can use anything that is carbon based. So here uh, we've biocharred uh, wood, bone, um, softwood, hardwood, uh, bread. We've actually thrown in a full loaf of bread just to see what would happen. Comes out completely black. Um, and then we can throw that to the pigs. They, they chow it right down. We've done dead animals like a dead chicken, did a dead beaver one time. Uh, so anything that is carbon based, what the, bio, what the retort does is it separates everything off of that that is not carbon, right? So you get a pure carbon back or very close to pure. Okay, there we go guys, another video in the bank. I hope we were able to teach you how to make biochar in some, you know, ways that make sense and all that good stuff. And you learn something. If you learn something, that's, that's, the, that's our goal here. So, we'll catch you in the next one. If you haven't watched this video right here, you probably want to. You wanna know how to do this. So, hit this video, we'll catch you guys in the next one.